Welcome to another episode of Banking Creek Fishing with Lure Net. We're in the office right now. We are checking out Davey's super secret creek where he's caught a ton of fish lately on Google Earth. We're zoomed in here to a deep part of the creek. It's got some wood cover. It's got some channel bends. It's got a little part where it splits. It's going to create some points. We're going to take some baits from the Banking Creek bag. We're going to go out here and catch some fish. All right, guys, we finally made it to Davey's super secret fishing creek. We're ready to catch some bass. Two baits we're going with today. We got a moving bait. We got the War Eagle Finesse Spinner Bait and Coleslaw. This is great for just chunking and winding. Then I got a slow moving bait. I got the Yum Helger Bite on a Yum Ned Jig here. We're gonna try them both out and see which one they want more. This Finesse Spinner Bait is a great option for first time anglers because it is a real visual bait. You can throw it out, keep it near the surface. You're gonna see that beautiful coleslaw skirt underneath the water, those blades turning. Anytime you get a bite, you're gonna see that bait go away. And so you're gonna know when you get bit. Oh, come on. I got him that time. <laughs> Just like I was talking about. I saw it come out of sight, he missed it, and then he came back and got it again. Oh man, this is fun. Now that I've worked this area over with my spinnerbait, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the Yum Helgramite so I can work over everything really slow. You know, some fish, they don't wanna hit a moving bait right away. They might wanna get something moving slow on the bottom. You talk about a deadly little creek fishing bait. This Helgramite is awesome. There's not another plastic out there that can match the action of this little dude. I got the Helgramite on a Yum Ned jig. What that is is a little flat top jig. It lets it just sit on top of the cover and just kind of walk over it. Oh, and they wanted it. Gosh. See, just like I was talking about, through that spinner bait, some fish just don't want to hit a moving bait, so they're going to hit something like this Yum Helgramite a lot better. Got him right in the top of the mouth. Man, Davy's spot is turning out good. Oh, another. Oh, they like this Helgramite. Oh, man, what do we got here this time? Man, there's a lot of good spotted bass in this hole. Oh, they can't stand that elgar mouth. Look at that. That's when you know you are throwing the right bait. Whenever they get it choked down right on the roof of the mouth. Oh, man, this is fun. We're going to move down the creek a little bit and you know try both these baits out. But I want to explain why this is a really great place. We found it on Google Earth. What it is, it's a transition to where the creek actually splits. So you got a lot of deep water drop-offs where all these Kentuckys are hanging out. It's a great spot. You can find it on Google Earth before you even hit the creek so you know where you're going to catch the most bass. I've reached a part of the creek where there's not a lot of visible cover. I can't see a lot of logs and stuff jutting out. The water's a little dirty. So I'm going to use the spinner bait and search with it. I'm just going to cast it around, see if I can find some fish laying in certain spots or if I can find some logs under the water. Oh man, dang. That was another good one. Oh, and he came back and got it. <laughs> what? Uh, man. Just like we were talking about, we found this spot on Google Earth. We found these logs jutting out here. I knew it was gonna be perfect for this spinnerbait. Oh man, that is awesome. Another thing making this spinnerbait really good today is we've got quite a bit of wind, you know? Anytime that you got a little bit of disturbance on the water, a spinnerbait is great because it puts out so much flash, it breaks up the water and it makes them really see it. That's a decent one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Look at that thing, look at that bass. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Dave. Dave showed us a pretty good spot. Oh, man. <laughs> that is why you need a Bank of Creek Tackle Kit. You need to get the Wargle Finesse Spinnerbait out. You need to go hit a creek right there. 